It's kind of hard to state how meaningful it is for me to be a writer in residence at Prairie View. Uh, this school is so deeply embedded in my family history. When I gave my keynote, the, the first visit that I had at the school, I talked about the fact that my this school is in my blood. And, and in many ways, I don't know that I would be having the life that I'm having if it were not for Prairie View. My name is Attica Locke. Uh, I am from Houston, Texas. I have worked in uh, Hollywood and publishing for 20 something years. And I got into it because of just a love, 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 love of storytelling. My passion about storytelling is comes from the belief that it is through stories that we as human beings really understand each other, that we have empathy for each other. It's also the way in which we understand um, where we fit into a larger kind of global context in terms of both history and also things that are happening today. It is through stories that we speak to people's hearts. And, and to me, the heart is a better pathway up to the brain than the brain down. Meaning, I see a story about, let's say, Vietnamese fishermen in Galveston in the 70s. I had no friend who's writing a story about this. I didn't know much about that. But by reading that story, I then get to understand a different culture in a way that, that is expansive in terms of my worldview and that, that increases my kind of uh, level of empathy for understanding people who are on the surface different than me, but we're all actually much more similar than we realize. Well, I have a couple of different writing styles because I write prose, I, I write books, but then I also write and produce television. And they're very, very different in approach, but ultimately you're still trying to get across a story. I mean, my passion for it is I, I kind of feel like that's, this is all I ever wanted to do from being a kid. I, I just wanted to make things up. With prose, when writing books, the passion for it is truly the English language. It's truly its rhythm, its pacing, its word choice, its painting images with words. You also do it in a very solitary way, and there's a way in which you're, you're only kind of, it makes me think of marathon runners, you're only kind of competing with yourself. You're, you're, you're with yourself to see how can I push myself to be my best. Um, in television, writing stories with television, my passion about that is drama. I always love plays. I've always loved that form of storytelling. And with that way of working, you work with teams and you learn how to collaborate. And so some of the passion there comes from the beauty and the magic of a bunch of different minds coming together, be it set design, be it the director, be it the person who picks the music. Somehow we all add a little bit of an element to the story and together we end up making something that's better than any one person could have done on their own. And that's kind of really cool to watch that kind of work come together. The thing about writing is that writing is doing it, not planning it. Meaning, you try to figure out, when do I get in that? Hey, start, I'm researching this, I'm planning, I'm outlining this. At a certain point, you just gotta jump in and jump rope. Because that's the, do it, no, the rest of it isn't actually writing. And what happens when you start putting sentence after sentence after sentence, your brain will start to do the work for you. That you need to be brave enough to lean into the unknown and luxuriate in the unknown and actually know that writing is the unknown. There's no way to hover above the work and plan the whole thing. You simply have to get in there and get started. At any point, you're allowed to stop and go, hey, let me let me pause and think about, like, am I in a good place? But the writing is the writing. It's not the planning. Because Prairie View, um, educated, inspired, uplifted, grandparents, great-grands, cousins, uncles, you know, I, I just stand on on these people's shoulders and so it feels um very moving to be here um to be able to give back to be able to kind of bring that full circle and see what can i offer for for young folks here um i really want to touch people who are interested in, in tv and film and books i want to be in living embodiment of what is possible that it is not easy and it's a long bumpy journey but I grew up in Texas, you know, my people are from East Texas. I went to Ailey Hastings High School in Houston and have 
managed to from there find my way deep into Los Angeles within a power structure where I'm able to make things happen. So it is possible. And not only is it possible, it's necessary. I cannot express to you enough how much the world and the industry needs the voices of you guys. Uh, so many. So uh, let's, uh, I'll try to name them all. So my, so the Opal Smith Auditorium here, that's my great aunt. Uh, the Wolf Folk Building, that was my great uncle. Um, my aunt and uncle went here. My grandmother, um, some great aunts went here. I have a, two cousins, one undergrad, one master's degree or PhD, I'm not remembering, and I, my brother went here. So just a lot of, a lot of prayer review of the family. The writing advice I've gotten in my life that I hold on to dearly is to read as much as you can all the time. That can also mean reading scripts. It can also mean reading a television show. What I mean is consume the thing that you want to do. The thing that you want to make, watch a lot of it, read a lot of it, because over time you'll begin to see patterns and how it's put together. So that is something that I was taught and believe in completely. Um, and in terms of writing advice that I would give, I'd probably say the same thing to students here because I think it's that important. But also I'm, I really want people to understand, I don't know if this is advice, but just an observation. Do this because you fundamentally fundamentally love it because the the journey to get where you want to go is not always going to be fun and it's the love that's going to keep you going that I have had many rejections I have had many months years of being broke I've had all kind of different experiences here the thing that kept me going is that I fundamentally love storytelling and so I think you have to be honest with yourself and say is this something I love so much that I may not reach the pinnacle of what I want to do for 15 years. I might reach it next week, but if it's 15 to 20 years, am I gonna be okay with that? Because the journey itself is fun, is, is pleasurable to me.